All right, prong number three is you are aware and you flow. This I feel like is kind of that final phase, intuitive eating, and you have mastered prong number one and prong number two. And now you're just aware of your patterns. Okay, I'm kind of aware that I had a bigger breakfast, so maybe I won't be as hungry at lunch. I'm kind of aware that at dinner last night, I also had an entire slice of cheesecake and it was so amazing. And I completely 100% emotionally ate and nourished myself, which is great. And we'll have another video on that. Completely healthy and normal. So maybe I won't be as hungry at breakfast. So you're aware of your pattern of your energy inputs and outputs. And you are aware of your activity levels. Oh my gosh, I was in meetings all day long. I barely moved around. Normally I'm up and I'm walking down the hall and I'm seeing patients. I might not be as hungry at dinner tonight. Hmm. So you're aware and then you just flow through your natural routine. And because you took time in prong number one and prong number two to develop your hunger scale and your satiety scale, that that ends up being the defining point of when it's time to actually re-nourish your body. So let me give you a couple examples. Hunger scale, one being I don't feel hungry at all, and 10, oh my gosh, I'm ravenous, I feel low blood sugar, I have a headache, I'm kind of weak in my legs, my stomach's growling, oh, I could just eat anything, I'm so hungry, right? So you wanna kind of find a sweet spot, and my own personal preference is kind of that five to eight, and when you're in the aware and flow phase, you really just go about your life, doing the things that bring you joy, and then all of a sudden you get a little knock on the door. Hello, anyone home? <laughs> so I just like to visualize that I'm, let's say in my office, and I'm working on documenting on a patient, or working on a project that I really care about. Um, maybe I'm brainstorming on video topics for you guys, and all of a sudden I get a knock at the door. Hello. And that's my hunger. And for me, I feel it in my stomach. I know that sensation. It's the best gift I could have ever been given from source, which is kind of ironic to say. When I was really struggling with my eating disorder, I hated feeling hungry. And to be honest, a lot of times I felt hungry all the time because I was chronically not giving my body that beautiful synergistic blend of nutrition where my blood sugars were all over the place and I just always felt hungry so I hated that feeling. Or at another phase of my recovery, I never felt hungry because I just numbed myself with excessive exercise or numbed myself with being so hungry that I literally just felt like a zombie and I didn't feel anything. So one of the best things was to finally feel real, authentic, physiological hunger, my soul, my body speaking to me like, hey, we ran out of energy, let's put some back in and let's freaking enjoy it while this is our intimate time to get together. So you just are aware of your patterns and then you wait for that knock on the door, wherever it may be in your body and only you will know that. For me, it's in my stomach, it's like a stirring, burning feeling and then I just check in, oh, it's that time Okay, where are we on the, that scale of hunger? Are we a five, are we an eight? Awesome, if it's a five, I know it's gonna turn into an eight probably in the next one to two hours. So if I have time to eat now, does it matter if I'm at an eight? If I'm at a five, that works too. If I'm at an eight, it's like, ooh, eight is great. That's where I really love to stop and um, take time to have an intimate, nourishing meal with me or friends because food just tastes so much better when I'm at an eight. If it's beyond an eight, then I'm kind of like, oh, I'm not feeling as well. I don't get to enjoy the food as much because it's just more of like that survival feeling like, oh, I got too hungry. So know that when you progress through your healing phase, you will reach 
that prong three, that awareness and that flow. And to me, that's intuition. That's where we all strive to be. And it's something that once you're there, you don't have to work. You just actually get to be yourself, that authentic person that at one point in your life you were, and it got robbed from you from this mental health condition, this eating disorder, and you can have it back. You just have to have faith and be so brave and try this technique, prong one, just know and go, prong two, know and flow, right? Bring in some flexibility, sit with those feelings, learn to self-soothe, and then prong three, aware and flow, just go about your day, wait for that knock, oh, let me check in, where's my real physiological hunger at? Am I at a five or an eight? Great. Now I'm gonna turn my attention toward the pleasure and the honoring and the planning of this meal. And then when does that meal end? So it's kind of similar to the hunger scale going into it, five or an eight. I'm eating until I feel gently full. So maybe it's a five, maybe it's an eight. And I feel like that could be a whole nother video, but it works similar on both ends, five to eight. Oop, time to re-nourish myself. Five to eight, oop, I'm gently full. And get on with your day, get on with your life. It's so amazing when you get to this level. All right guys, I gotta let you go. I think I'm running over my video. Until next time, love you guys so much. Proud of you. And I hope that you've enjoyed my candle vibes. All right, peace. I gotta still put in notes on patients. I still have to work, 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 work. But thanks to you guys, this has made my evening. After a long, long day, you have restored me.